Before we get to 11 o'clock, 62 degrees here in St. John's County in St. Augustine. Beautiful day. No chance of rain today. No chance of rain tomorrow. Overnight lows getting down into the mid 40s. Tomorrow's high back into the mid 60s again. So just one day after another near perfect late fall weather. And hey, we're joined here live in the studio line, uh, in the studio line. Now we're here in the studio, right, Karen? We are. Yes, Kevin, yes. Kevin. Karen is here with me, and uh, but we have some very special guests with us. Uh, Mark Calvi Jr. is here. Kenise is here as well with Justice League of Credit. Justice League of Credit, based right here in our part of Northeast Florida. Mark, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here this morning. So let's get started a little bit about you know, for, and we're going to get to what is Justice League of Credit, but. Kind of give us a little bit about you and your background, which probably naturally led to, at some point, the creation and the founding of Justice League of Credit, right? Definitely, definitely. Um, Mark Kelby, um, I am a, uh, a son and nephew and, of course, uh, cousin of a of retired uh, sheriff office uh, uh, family members. Uh -huh. Um, I used to drive trucks, of course. I loved it. So shout out to all the truck drivers out there. Be safe out down the road. And I definitely love helping people. So that really what got me into um, credit, actually. Yeah. You've encountered a lot of people that were struggling with their credit. Including myself. Okay. At one point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're heading into the holiday season where people are going to be dialing up those credit cards. <laughs> oh, yes. That leads me to, yes, def, definitely, definitely. Not Canise, but everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, talk, talk to me a little bit about it. If you're heading into the holiday season and you already have maybe some debt issues, you have some credit challenges, what have you, what, what's your basic advice to folks as we sit here looking at December 1st right around the corner? Well, my advice is please limit your spending, spend smart. Have a budget maybe? Definitely, that's because that's the key, honestly. And do not overspend, uh, especially on credit cards because that's the easiest way that you can uh, decrease your credit score. If you use up your credit, credit card balance and you're not able to pay it back on time, that will definitely decrease your credit score. Yeah. So that's so again, going into the holiday season, please be mindful of proper spending and only spend on what you need. Yeah, folks, will, you'll see these ads to hey, come, you know, come buy a new car. You know, no credit will be turned down if you can fog up a mirror. You can get a loan, but if you have a low credit score, you're going to pay a lot more for that <laughs> loan. Exactly, yeah. those interest rates are is uh, you know it's very very um, sad that. A lot of people will, you know, just go get things and not really take account of, hey, you know, I'm going to get a higher um, interest rate, you know, but if I actually work on my credit, I can get a lower interest rate. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so talk to me a little bit about that. So somebody is sitting here right now, even before we get into the, you know, sort of the temptation of buying lots of presents from Santa. <laughs> Uh, they already have a messed up credit score. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the program at Justice League of Credit. And by the way, if you're jumping in and out of your car, you can always go to justiceleagueofcredit.com. That's justiceleagueofcredit.com. So yes, our, our program is based off is when you call into our office, we will schedule a, um, a free credit analysis. And with that free credit analysis, we will uh, get a copy of your credit report, go line by line with you, with each item that's on your credit report. And then we will explain exactly why these items need to get removed off your credit report. From there, we will of course discuss our other things that we offer in the program. And then from there, you will be helped. And there's like lots of education that we um, will give you throughout the time in the program. And yes. Credit is a lot more affordable if you have a credit score of say 680 or 720 than if your credit score is 530, 540, right? Oh, How yes. quickly can you help somebody get from five something to seven something? So our program is, is normally six months or less, okay. but I always tell everybody it depends on you, the person, because it's a team effort. Our team can do our part and you just have to make sure that you do your part by following our recommendations because you, you can have a credit score, you know, you can increase your credit score within 30 days, um, not maybe to a 700, but you know, it's just, you have to put in the work to be able to want that higher credit score. Okay. Uh, Kadis, 
if somebody wants to learn more about what Justice League of Credit's all about, obviously, you know, it's great to go on social media, maybe follow you that way, learn more about you. What can they do? Um, you can actually follow us on Instagram, Facebook. You can find us on TikTok and YouTube at Justice League of Credit. That's easy enough. Justice oh, yeah. League of Credit. We'll be back with Canise and Mark. Stay tuned. 11 o'clock, 62 degrees, and we're spending some time with the good folks, Mark and Canise, with Justice League of Credit. Justice League of Credit, locally owned right here in Northeast Florida. These are folks that are part of our community, and they're helping people deal with you know their credit. And your credit gets hit. It costs you more money. It kind of starts... You know, and I was, I'm going to talk to Kenise too a little bit, but Mark, it starts that downward cycle, doesn't it? You know, people get caught up with, they get a bad hit on their credit, and then they have to spend more money to get credit, and then you just keep going down the down the drain, right? Definitely, definitely. And you guys help people out of that situation. That's our job. Yeah. And educate at the same time. If you want to learn more about the details of the program, how it all works, uh, they're very active on social media. There's lots of good information out there, right, Kenise? Yep, definitely. And so what's the best way for people to connect with you? All right, you guys can find us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, um, and our website at Justice League of Credit. Does Mark do any like fun dancing videos on TikTok or is it all just information? Oh, not just yet. I'll not be able to do a couple of dances though. Not yet. Though. <laughs> not yet. Not not yet. It's right. coming. Yeah, that's something for us to look forward to, right? Uh, Cadiz obviously had a lot of choices. You can do a lot of sort of a lot of different things. Why did you decide to, you know, work with Mark on helping people restore their credit? Well, I would say I was working at the uh, truck stop uh, up here actually on CR two ten, and my coworkers they were talking about uh, credit, and um, I would just hear you know stories from them. And then drivers were coming in; they were wanting to do like their side businesses and stuff. Um, and then I would actually get home, and Mark would say things like. You know about customers um, needing help so I really wanted to um, kind of help people and do this together with him as a team yeah it's worked out really well yes yeah love it yeah so who's the boss of course I'm the boss <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nobody in the room believes that <laughs> not even Mark uh, it's after 11 o'clock so Mark when you're helping people when both you and Kenise are helping people with you know tough credit situations and of course life happens we know there's you know, relationship challenges that sometimes can, you know, turn into bad financial circumstances, healthcare challenges, death, you know, all those things happen. Uh, what, but what's one of the most common things you see, you know, when people are having to deal with debt collectors that are getting aggressive and just, you know, the, those kinds of challenges? So the most thing that I normally see uh, the most is debt collectors will actually call that particular person and of course you answer and most most people think that they have to respond to a debt collector like they have to give out information but you do not and once that debt collector have your name number that you give them please do not give that information out the best thing that you can do is tell them that please remove my number from your call list if you have my information or the, no if you have that person's information which i always tell people to speak in third party remove my number from your call list and if you do have my, that person's information communicate with me by mail and that's it hang up the phone yeah yeah you're right most people don't know that and that's good advice good information obviously um you know when people are trying to repair their own credit you know sometimes you'll see these ads online that they can you know work with what is it good, good karma or whatever that thing is credit, um, karma. <laughs> credit karma i'm sorry that's a bad word <laughs> I know, yeah, but help our listeners understand why because you see it all over the internet so you know why not work with those folks well credit karma is a marketing company they get paid based off of you filling out applications for credit cards knowing that your scores are not you know that as good at that given time and even if you get denied they still get some type of credit because you visited that uh, mm -hmm. particular company's website that they advertise and most of the scores that is reporting on Credit Karma is not accurate so that's why we at Justice Legal Credit will assist you with getting the proper uh, credit scores that we will help you monitor uh, each month for you yeah well, once again, yeah, you don't want to fall guilty to that. If it seems too simple, it seems too easy, it probably is, right? And there's a program, though, that's very achievable. JusticeLeagueOfCredit.com. That's JusticeLeagueOfCredit.com. 
Kenise, what would you say to all the listeners that are, you know, that they're working on their own credit or they think, hey, I, I got this under control? Um, I would probably advise them to um, join us because we literally have um, all the credit rebuilding products and we can give them fast results. Um, sometimes customers have unrealistic um, expectations, but we can definitely help them um, get where they want to be at a fast rate. Yeah, there you go. Well, you can learn more once again by going to justiceleagueofcredit.com. That's justiceleagueofcredit.com. Check out the website. That'll get you easily connected to Mark and Kenise and their entire team. We'll be back. Clock, and we're spending some time once again with Mark and Kenise with Justice League of Credit. Justiceleagueofcredit.com. And for those of you that have just hopped into your vehicle, Mark, explain to folks what Justice League of Credit does for people. Well. Justice Legal Credit, we help restore and increase your credit score. That way you're not paying so much in interest. And again, if you currently have any uh, bad credit or and want to help get, uh, get it restored, you can just reach out to us. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people that advertise late at night on the radio or on television, different channels saying, oh, you know, call this number, get your credit repaired. These are big entities that could be even offshore. Or they're just, you know, they're just interested in getting a little exactly. bit of money from you, right? Exactly. I mean, the reality is you guys are here locally. You're right here in Northeast Florida. You're here helping people, you know, your neighbors and your friends, right? Yes. And again, you can definitely reach out to us either on Zoom because we do offer Zoom appointments or you can meet us face to face in person. Um, you can always call us at 904-339-8051. But that is the best part of working with a local credit rest restoration company is you actually get to see us in person and not just, as Kevin said, a person that's hiding behind the um, keyboard all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And something as important and as vital to your everyday life as your credit score, you know, you should work with somebody that's a, a real human being, you know, not a bot, not a robot, not somebody that's, you know, on a switchboard in India, right? Exactly. Yeah. And our customers are like family. And actually in February, one of our customers, um, Acts, you know, me to be one of the, you know, their best man in their wedding. So it's like, yeah, it's it's definitely a family affair here with Justice Legal Credit. That'll be a frugal wedding too. <laughs> Mark is saying, I'm not sure you want to spend money on that. Right, you know, that's right. Mark may not be a big fan of the bride, or the bride may not be a big fan of Mark. Oh man, uh, Mark and Kenise are here with us. Um, you know. Can you explain to, what, to our listeners why if they are struggling with bad credit, if they've had to pay money you know, to get a good interest rate, or they've just been turned down sometimes for financing, why they should work with Justice League of Credit? Um, like I mentioned before, we have really uh, great credit rebuilding products. Um, we counsel you, um, we give you calls, notifications, text messages. We're always in the loop. You will always been, be in the loop and great customer service. Yeah, that's, yep. that's what makes the big difference. And, of course, uh, you know, nothing speaks more loudly than the fact that the folks that they work with will highly recommend them, right? Yes. Definitely. You yeah. know, and people that have already made great progress with restoring their credit, you know, speak so highly of what Mark and Kenise can do, you know, what they did for them and what they can do for you. And that's just, to me, that speaks volumes. Justiceleagueofcredit.com. That's justiceleagueofcredit.com right here in Northeast Florida. Uh, Mark Alvey, of course, Kenise, you can reach them too by telephone, right? Yes. You guys got a phone? <laughs> Old school? Yeah, it's not just about the, you know, TikTok and all that. We're universal. <laughs> yeah. So, so if somebody wants to dial you up on the rotary dial phone, Kenise, she probably doesn't know what a rotary dial phone is. <laughs> I do. Young. I do. Oh, I've right. used one before. <laughs> yeah. She seems like an old soul. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, Kenise, give us that phone number. 904-339-8051. All right. Yep. Uh, Mark, any closing thoughts before we let you go for our listeners? Uh, yes, I want to, of course, uh, give a shout out to the Artillery Group, and I also, and also, they are, they are a organization that helps uh, military families that are in need. And if you want to reach out and help and sponsor a family, you can reach out to Emily Spencer. Her email is Emily at Artillery Group, which is H E A R T I L L E R Y G R O U P dot org. Very good. Mark and Kenise, thank you for your great work and uh, thanks for joining us today. We learned a lot. All right. Thank you. Abracadabra and poof. I'm Mark with Justice League Credit and 
Thank you for listening to this video and I am out.